The number five ranked in Class C in New York State, the Osebo Valley Patriots. I dare say, without uh, fear of anybody arguing with me, that that's the highest Osebo Valley has ever been ranked in New York State standings in their history. Those number five ranked Class C uh, Osceola Valley Patriots are here to face the number four ranked in New York State, Northeastern Clinton Central School Cougars. Who could ask for a ball game that could be any more exciting than what we're about to see right here? Number five against number four it's in New York State. That's uh, unprecedented that I can recall in uh, regular CBAC action. Uh, that's what we're about to witness, the Osceola Valley Patriots and the Northeastern Clinton Central School Cougars. The Patriots leading Division Two at the moment and the Cougars undefeated at the top of the Division One standings here in the CBAC. The captains are out there going over the ground rules. For the Patriots, Stacia Robinson, Emily Lazari, Gail Perrier, Danielle Castine, and Nicole Tarda for the Cougars. Referees tonight will be Steve Parker and John the Fly Roscovich. A couple of former highway superintendents. Jack Connell. And Carl Castine talking about the slippery roads. <clears throat> we don't have a packed gymnasium, but a pretty good crowd all, all in all. Not many from the Osable side, though. I expect a few more fans here. Clippers uh, have a, most of the usual suspects and a, and a few new ones besides, or different ones. The Patriots. Melanie Lopez. Melanie Lopez. Nicole Lopez. What do we got here? Nick? Tony Buser. Mitchell. Emmerich. Saunders. Starters, Stanley, Hillary Stanley, Emily Lazari, Stacia Robinson, Diana Allen, and leading scorer in the CBAC, Gail Perrier. Coach is Bobby McConey. For Northeastern, Tara Dragoon. Aaron McDonald, Ashley Burks, Lisa Robert, Amanda Clark, Haley Desero, the starters, Ashley Walter, Nicole Tarda, Debbie Trombley. Miranda Perez and Danielle Castan. Coach is Andy Landry. He is not assisted by Norm Bono. But the record show there was no national anthem. That's why we didn't tape it. Stacia Robinson, Debbie Trombley. Action is underway here. Control tip. Perez gives to Tardif, Walter to Castine. Looks like we're going to have to be on our feet tonight. 
Cross court. Walter grabs it, puts it up. First shot of the game is in. And the Cougars take a 2 0 lead. Perrier. The Patriots, a little short handed. Lopez, sisters, uh, in a accident a couple weeks ago. Robinson is fouled. And uh, it's like Melanie is coming back. Not sure if Nicole is. Uh, Is playing Robinson. Foul was on Randa Paris, her first. So Lopez, the starter, normally not in the lineup. Cuts into the speed factor for the uh, Patriots. Patriots brought up uh, brought up uh, Susie McConey off the JVs. Cardiff. Tries into the blue shirts. And the ball goes off to Dana Allen. Or Diana Allen. Cast in inbound it. Tardiff quickly to Perez. Down to Perez. Has a 4-1 Cougar lead. Lazari. Bounce pass picked off by Perez. And foul on Perrier. Premier pitcher, or certainly one of the premier pitchers, if not the premier pitcher in CBAC softball, Gail Perrier. All squirts back for Castine. And he buries it. Castine's 18 footer makes it 6 1 Cougars. Lazari gets it back, stops, passes underneath for Robinson. Perrier rebounds, puts it in. The Twin Towers are tough to match up. Tarda won't fall. Robinson taps it over to Perrier. So it's going to be Cougars transition and the second efforts on the on Sable's part. They're going to have a lot of strong offensive boards. Cougars take it away. Castine looking for Walter. Walter stays in bounds somehow. Gets it to Trombley. Trombley reverse layup is good. Looks like a broken play for a moment, but the Cougars capitalize on it. It's 8-3 Northeastern. Well, if that's on Perry, it'll be uh, Ferris, it'll be her second. It is. Amanda Clark says, gee whiz, those guys are tall. I'm only 5'5". Five five. She's going to have to come in and try to work underneath with Harris picking up her second foul early here in the first quarter. Robinson hits the foul shot. 5.07 to go in the first. Eight five to score. Clark gets the ball, gives it to Caston. Perrier read that pass. Wings have got to be up. Wings have got to be up. They can't have the wings on those passes behind the defense. Pass into Trombley, back to Castine, slips through her fingers, gets it over to Walter. Cardiff with an 18 footer. Trombley scoops it back out. Castine, 18 footer is in. 10 4. 4.38 to go. First quarter. Go, 
I think I said eight six a while back. Obviously, I was wrong. Clark got it in the way. It's off Robinson. Nice defense there by Amanda Clark. East clubs. Castine out to Walter. These clubs could meet in the Section 7 Class C Championship game. They're both Class C schools. So this could be a precursor of things to come underneath Clark off Perez. Or off Perrier. So Perrier and Perez on the floor tonight. <laughs> I'd be goofing them all, both up probably. Castine into Tardif. Out to Walter. Rejected by Robinson. Trombley should have let that go. That would have been white ball. You got to remember those situations. Let those go. That's off the other team. Perrier to Robinson. No 10 seconds in the backcourt in girls basketball. Off white, I guess they're saying. Stanley inbounds to Lazari. Lobs it to Robinson. Shot is missed. Castine with the rebound. Up to Tardiff. To Clark. Clark gets her own rebound. Blocked by Robinson. Look clean. Foul called in Robinson. And the Clark at the line. Stanley way back. Uh, Castine's got to be aware of that. <laughs> Coach Landry uh, reminding her. And let's see who we got here. Number three, Susie McConey in. And 13, Jenna Buser for the Patriots. Second shot is missed. Trombley puts it back up. Jump ball. Three twenty-three to go. Ten for the score. Perrier. Buser. Back to Lazari. Allen shot, pull down, Castine with a rebound. Out to Walter. Shot is missed. Lazari comes out with it. Perry keeps it. Walter with a foul. Third team foul. Allen into Buser. Trombley picks it off. Now Castine will bring it up. Tardif back to Castine. Trombley in the paint. Now to Walter for 16 feet. Nope. Perrier outlets to Lazari. Lazari to McConey. McConey with the shot. Clark comes up with it. Trombley helped keep that alive. Here comes Walter. Tardiff. Foul will be on Gail Perrier. Trombley will shoot. No. Foul is not on Gail Perrier. It's on Dana Allen. Ashley Burtz will come in for the Cougars. Burtz replaces Walter. 154 to go. In the first, it's 11 4 Northeastern.
12-4. Although they're undefeated, the Cougars can lease the Ford. Clark helps get that steal. Birch brings it back. Travel. Cougars can lease the Ford to loss here. I think the Patriots have a two-game lead in Division Two. Northeastern has just a one game, actually a game and a half because they have a game in hand, but they have a game lead for all practical purposes over Peru. So a loss to Alcebo would put them in a first place tie for the Peru Indians. Allen back to Lazari. Perrier from 15. Jump ball. on Buser. Trombley hits the first. Robinson and Stanley back in for the Patriots. They replace Curry and Allen. 101 to go in the first. Trombley can give the Cougars an early 10-point lead. She does. 14-4, but we have a lot of ball game to go. Lazari with the ball. Lazari keeps it in play. Tardif gets a hand on it. Works to Castine. Castine three for three. Nineteen footer. Puts her team up by a dozen. Sixteen four. McConey puts a shot up. Trombley with a rebound. Four seconds. Tarda will put it up at the horn. Cougars lead. 16 to 4 at the end of one, but don't go away. We got a lot of ball game to go. I'll save a ball as we start the second quarter. They're down by a dozen, but it uh, doesn't take too long to switch things around. You can turn in a hurry. Curry gets a shot up. It's blocked, deflected. Trombley tries to put it to the floor and it's off blue. Walter and Hel uh, Haley Desro has come in for the Cougars. Burtz, Trombley out. Burtz to Walter. Walter with a shot, rebounded by Perrier. Allen puts it, uh, make that, Stanley puts it up, Robinson with the, that five inch height advantage gets the rebound over Trombley. Robinson at 6'3", Trombley at 5'10". Trombley hook shot, Walter gets the rebound, pushes it out for Desiro.
Underneath for Robinson. Ferrier with the rebound. The Patriots are going to win. That's where they're going to do it, right underneath. Fouls on Clark for first. Team fourth. Both teams with four fouls. Robinson with a rebound, back in. <laughs> Offensive rebound, that's going to be the, the winning factor if Osable's going to do it. And that's what we just saw twice there, Perry getting an offensive rebound, then Robinson getting an offensive rebound. Amanda Clark gets it to drop in. Castine and Perez on their feet, they'll be coming back in for the Cougars. Lazari from the corner, buries it. 18-12. Patriots have cut the Cougar lead in half. Walter has it slapped away, gets it back. In the paint to Trombley. Trombley throws it up, too strong. Perrier's there for the rebound. Now Lazari. They can make it a four-point ball game, this trip down. Stanley, Allen over to Lazari, it's out of bounds. Tardiff will also come in for the Cougars. Patriots in a 2-3 zone, blocked by Robinson. 18-12 the score, 4.40 to go, second quarter. Lazari. From the corner, Emily Lazari. 18-14. Castine picks it up. Back to Walter. Tardif makes it, but three seconds called. We'll just turn it over. So that, that hurts when the ball goes in. Eighteen fourteen. I'll see both. Coming right back in this one. <laughs> Underneath, Perrier. 18-16. Underneath for Clark. Robinson tapped it. Trombley will come back in for the Cougars. Three-pointer is good. We got us a one-point ball game. Northeastern has not called a timeout. They need to regroup here. They don't need to wait till they're behind. It's 18-18. It's not a one-point ball game. It's tied. 19, now they're putting the point up. The Cougars are behind. 19-18, they just put that extra point up for that three-pointer. Cougars want a timeout, but they're going to take it before their shooter shoots. So a big, big spurt here for the Patriots that put, put them up by one with 3.13 to go in the half. Second quarter has belonged solely to the Patriots. Ashley Walter, shooting two. <laughs> Ties it. So it was up 20-19. Very eight in to Stanley. And 
And McConey calls a timeout. I'll save the ball. Lazari has it. McConey gets it. Tony shoots. It's good. Susie McConey makes it 21 20. Off white, no. Off blue. Harris is fouled. Time and time again, we see players wide open on the Cougars, and ball goes the other way instead of to the wide open player. Keep your eyes open, you can spot it for yourself. Perry, uh, Perez looking to tie again here, it's short. Uh, foul's gonna be on Perry, that'll be her third if it's on her. That's her third. And Clark's going to come in for it. Long pass is going to be picked off. Trombley gives it to Walter. Last time over to Tartar. Justine shot is off the rim, rebounded by Stanley. Two oh two to go in the half. All Sable up by one. McConey. For Robinson. Clark will be called for the foul. Cougars are, looks like they're sticking with their man-to-man. -man. I don't know why they don't go to a zone to keep those tall players out. Walter brings it up for the Cougars. Clark off the rim. Over the back, Tarda. Yeah, one and one. Minute 32 to go. Three and a half. Hillary Stanley can put her team up by three here. Shooting a one and one. Missed Clark uh, Walter with the rebound. Had uh, Clark was wide open there. Had an easy layup if she'd gone the other way with it. Castine, no start up. Oh, what a should have put it right back up. Start up instead of putting it up. Dribbled through. Now she gets the foul call on the Patriots. Yeah, one and one for the Cougars. Nicole Tardiff will shoot. She can tie it here with 107 on the clock. Fouls on McConey, her first. Team seventh. Both teams with seven fouls. We're tied, 21 all. Remember the Cougars led by a dozen coming into the second quarter. And Cardiff hits them both. With Northeastern up 22-21. Oh. Cardiff got an elbow, I think, in the face. Intentional foul. 
intentional flagrant foul. I think it was uh, Lazari. No, it's fouls on. Uh, there's no number 11. The foul is on Tardif. The foul is on Tardif. Her second foul, Lazari shooting. Only a replay will. Help me understand that. Cast line with a block. <laughs> Look clean. Robinson will shoot two. One oh three remaining. Robinson looking to tie it. She does, 22 all, second quarter. Destine to Clark. Twenty-four, twenty-two, down to thirty-eight seconds to go. Is it off Walter? No. Off Lazari. So Northeastern with 31 seconds. Should look to take some time off the clock. Tardif gets it over to Clark. Clark misses. Trombley's there for the rebound. She's fouled. on Allen. Diana Allen with the foul. 12-2 on the clock. Team that shoots the best from the foul line probably will win this game. Trombley hits. And the second shot is up. Rebounded by Robinson. Outlets to Lazare. Stainley throws it up. Robinson gets the rebound, puts it in. Offensive boards. What do you do when a, a player towers over you like that. Stacia Robinson, a tremendous offensive rebounding weapon for the Patriots. 25-24, Northeastern leads by one little point at the half here on Hometown Cable. The number four ranked team in New York State hanging on to a one point advantage over the number five ranked team in Class C standings. Second half is underway here at Hometown Cable. Patriots outscoring as Cougar is 20 to 9 there in that second period. to Walter. One point ball game. Harris on the bench for the Cougars. Chastain with a long one. Rolls the rim. Off Trombley. Stanley will inbound. Lozari gets it to Allen. Up to Stanley. Robinson out to help out. Clark's there, knocks it loose. 
Off white, nine seconds on the shot clock. Stanley will inbound it. Into Robinson, Trombley knocks it loose. Perrier picks it up. Cardiff gets a hand on it, Walter. Right in the hands of Allen. Figure so should have taken her time on that one. There were too many blue shirts back. And no one to hold them and no one to fold them. Stanley shot rebounded by Trombley. Castine will bring it up. Tardiff underneath for Trombley. Trombley puts it to the floor, pushes it back out for Tardiff. No. Walter with the rebound. Short. Robinson pulls it down. Now Perrier. Stanley too strong. Castine pulls it down. Walter. Thrown away. We've played two minutes and three seconds here in this second half, and nobody scored yet. <laughs> Not sure what all that was about. Fouls on Clark. Cougar fans uh, groaning on that one. Travel. Allen took a little stroll. The ball goes back to the Cougars. That foul was Clark's third. Ball comes to Walter. 2-3 defense for the Patriots. Trombley over to Clark. Rebounded by Allen. Now Lazari has it. Robinson hits. Ashley Walter brings it down, pops it in. Alcibel, 28, Cougars, no, oh, Alcibel, 26, Cougars, 27. Rebounded by Walter, off the shot by Allen. Pushes it, nice pass, beautiful pass. Ashley Walter, threads the needle, Amanda Clark gets open, gets the basket. Three-point lead, Cougars. Five-second violation. Laconi wants a 20-second timeout. 29-26, three-point lead for the Cougars. 4.43 to go, third quarter. Steve Wett catching up on his reading. Reporter for the Press Republican. Tardiff short. Clark. Amanda Clark, five foot five. But she's a terror under those boards. Lazare. Clark picks it off. Wall to wall. Count it. Shot miss. Allen rebounds. Patriot fans wanted a foul. Lazari back to help out. 33 26, seven point lead Northeastern. Castine steals it.
Fouls on the floor. Fouls on Allen. McConey will come in for her. Susie McConey, freshman, up from the JVs. Castein comes deep to Walter. Patriots in their 2 3 defense. Coach Landry telling Castein to take her shot. Walter drives, lays it in. Lazari brings it down. Nine point lead, Northeastern. Cougars led by 12 at the end of the first half. Trombley with a steal. Clark pushes it back out. Castine back to Clark. Wide open, should have taken that one. Tardiff in traffic, hit. to take my word for it. The number on your far right, that's a six. 37-26, 11 point lead for Northeastern. A foul on Dana Allen was her fourth. Team second in the half. Stanley to inbound it. Balls into Lazari. Rosary, the most valuable player in the Elizabethtown Holiday Tournament. Castine picks it off. Should have the easy layup. She does. Perrier to Lazari. 39-26, 13-point lead, Northeastern's biggest lead of the game, I think. Perrier underneath, misses the shot, gets her own rebound, puts it back up, won't fall for her, Trombley pulls it down. Now here's Walter to Tardiff, 18-footer, in and out. Clark has it blocked, Robinson with a block. Cougar fans wanted the foul. Look clean from up here. Perry and Robinson combining for the for the block. McConey off the rim. Rebounded Robinson. Ball's loose. Look out. <laughs> McCauley says, uh, anybody see what happened? <laughs> Clark diving for the ball. Burtz and Desero in for Northeastern. Stanley. Fouls on Castine. It's her second. Ball in. Perrier to Robinson. Gets a shot off. It's good. Been a while since the Patriots have scored. 39-28. Desero to Burtz to Castine. Forty-one twenty-eight. Clark, gotta be careful about picking up that fourth foul. Over and back. Over and back. 
could see that one coming. The Cougars should have been more aware of that. Perry had no idea she was across the 10 second, the, uh, there was no 10 second line in girls, but no across the line. Cougars should have, uh, she wanted to pass that earlier, should have given her that chance. Clark puts it up, Trombley pulls it down, gets it to Castine, off the glass, it's good. Burtz and Castine come up with the steal. Castine has Trombley. <laughs> 45 28 is the score at the end of three. Northeastern up by 17. Don't know if I caught it on camera, but uh, Steve Parker apparently uh, fell and went sliding across the floor. Burns with a shot. Robinson with a rebound. Robinson hits. Cougars outscored the uh, Patriots 20 to four. That quarter thrown away. Northeastern has to be careful about letting the Patriots back in this game. 17 points is a lot, but it's certainly not impossible. When you're playing the number five ranked team in New York State, anything can happen, even if you're the number four ranked team. I would guess this is probably unprecedented in CBAC history to have number four and five ranked teams in New York State. Perez knocks it out. And to have a big game like this going head to head. And we expect to see these two teams face each other in the sectional finals. But there's a couple teams that have ideas about uh, disrupting them. Last year, Ticonderoga derailed the Patriots. That's where I'll score. Tony brings it down. Dry is blocked by Clark. That's her fourth. <laughs> Little Susie McConey will shoot. <laughs> and Nikki Lopez is uh, is back on her feet. I think Mickey's the older one. And uh, and his experience that Stanley and McCombie have been getting in the meantime is going to pay off down the road for the Patriots. Fouls on Tron Lee. Perrier will shoot. See, Parker has said to Took a dive, not sure if we got it on camera. It reminds us of uh, Bobby McConey in a game at Shazy a couple of years ago. He's a baseball umpire. He went sliding up. He had borrowed somebody's shoes. And feels a little wet. <laughs> he went sliding on his can. And uh, one of his embarrassing moments to have a camera there to capture it. Robinson. And the Patriots are crawling back into this game. 47-33. Perez hits. 49-33. Cougars uh, need to score once in a while. Otherwise, a bunch of unanswered points can add up in a hurry. McConey hands off to Lazari. Talking to Lazari's mother, Linda, at uh, halftime, and uh, she's sharing in pain. She's got a blister on her hand from shoveling over the weekend, and 
Is she uh, clapping so much in this game? She re injured her blister. Castine and Tardiff back in for Northeastern. Tardiff into Walter. On the line. 49-35. Patriots ball. Lazari. And over to McConey. Leon Castine, I think. To a third. 5.40 to go in the game. Cougars with the ball. Walter drives into a string of blue shirts, no charge. Robinson gives a little elbow, no, no foul on that one either. Here are the Cougar fans. They're, larger in number so they <laughs> they're hardly hollering louder than the Patriot fans were in the other Cougars throw it away Patriots get it back underneath for Robinson she's got an easy shot misses it Castine fighting hard for it Perry Perry is out of bounds into Walter Perrier steals it. McConey from 15. Castine will pick up her fourth foul. Perrier got position. I'd leave her in at this point. Can't help you if she's on the bench. She fouls out, she fouls out. You got a 14 point lead. Perry hits the first. Allen in, replacing uh, McConey. 4.50 on the clock. Trombley grabs it, gives it to Walter. Knocked out by Lazari. Have a Cougar timeout. Good. 4.41 on the clock. Northeastern leads it by a 49 to 36 margin. 13 points. Patriots have closed it here in the early part of the fourth. Jeff Stein will inbound it. Off loop. And the Tardiff. Perry. And the Paris. <laughs> Paris. I'm giving up on Perrier and Paris here. That's Paris. 51. 36. Back to a 15 point lead for the Cougars. Cougars outscored Al Sable 16 4 in the first. Al Sable came back to outscore the North Northeastern Clinton Cougars 20 to 9 in the second. Make it a one-point ball game. Perry, uh, Paris takes it away. Up to Castine. Castine pushes it to Trombley. Trombley with a running hook shot. Out of bounds. In the third, it was 20 to 4. Northeastern outscoring the Patriots 20 to 4. Perry, uh, Paris with the steal. Walter to Perez. And Walter draws a foul. Yeah. 
3.39 to go. Fouls on Stanley, her second. Third team foul on the Patriots in the second half. Cougars have six. <laughs> Ashley Walter hits. And 53, back to a 17-point Cougar lead. So we're right back where the quarter started. Last time, better be careful to pick up that fifth foul on a needless play. Ozeri, it's too much dribbling for the offense for the Patriots. When you see all that dribbling, you know something's not going right. Fouls on Lazari. Last time will inbound it. Into Walter. Walter up to Perez. Perez finds Trombley. One three one defense now for Osable. Eight on the shot clock. Over to Tardif. Block. Perrier with a strong move, gets the ball away, lays it in. Miranda Perez. Perez with the basket. McConey calls a timeout. 55-36, a 19-point lead. Northeastern, the biggest lead of the game with 2.39 remaining. Lisa Robert and Tara Dragoon will come in for the Cougars. Jack Connell is pointing up here until I put the camera on. And he got awfully bashful, awfully quick. Let's see. Uh, Perez, Walter, and Tardif stay in for the Cougars. Trombley and Castine sit and make room for Dragoon and Robert. Robinson, count it. Fouls on Lisa Robert, her first. Three point play for Robinson. Walter to Dragoon. To Tardif. Robert draws a foul. Fouls on Robinson. For a second. Robert misses the first of two. And Aaron McDonald comes in from Miranda Perez. Shot is missed. Ferrier grabs it. Too much dribbling in the Osable offense. Unless you're the Harlem Globetrotters, you don't do all that dribbling. And I'm sure Bobby McConey knows it. McDonald misses the shot. Robinson rebounds. Dragoon takes a nap, but back on her feet now. She wasn't very tired, I guess. Robinson from 16. Yes, Stacey Robinson. Now Hillary Desserell, Haley Desserell set to come back in for the Cougars. 55-41 the score. Cougars working it around. Tardiff back out for Walter. Robinson with the rebound. Perrier will bring it up. 55 seconds to go. Destro saying, come on, somebody do something here. Is that horn will sound and I can get in the game. McConey for three. Yes, is he McConey? 
Let's get her father thinking he can win this one. There's a foul. 55 44, 11 point ball game, 43 seconds to go. Desro comes in to replace Tarda. Dragoon will inbound it. Al Sable still playing like they want to win this one. Foul on McConey. Is that the seventh or sixth? Looks like it might be the seventh. It's the seventh. Should be a one and one. <laughs> Ashley Walter. One and one. <laughs> the hits. 56-44. The Robinson rebounds to Perrier. Now Lazari. Stanley. McConey for three. Air ball. Twenty-three seconds to go. Foul on McConey. Well, Walter will get an extra few points in the foul line. Thanks to a couple of late fouls here. Just keep fouling me all night. I'll just keep shooting them. It's one out of them. Foul on McDonald, who doesn't look as convinced <laughs> as Roscovich was. <laughs> Perrier shooting a one and one. <laughs> Basket will count. Foul, I believe, is on McDonald. So Perrier gets to add to her total, 15.9 on the clock. Robinson puts it up. Perrier gets the rebound. She's going to go to the line again. Perrier can, with two here, could make it a nine point ball game. 57 47, so it's going to look a lot closer than it uh, could have. Because Osibo kept the starters out there and uh, kept pressing right to the end. They'll lose by nine or more. Ouch. <laughs> Good thing McConey doesn't weigh that much. He rolled over the top of uh, Walter's head there. <laughs> oh, Walter says, I'll get to add, add a couple more shots. Nine point eight. Seconds left. 11 point lead, Cougars. Traveling. Dragoon will inbound it. Desero, no. 49 48 is the final. Both uh, sets of fans give their teams a round of a well deserved round of applause. We wouldn't be surprised if we saw these two clubs meet again in a Section 7 Class C Championship game. And the Cougars will be hoping that the Patriots will be able to defeat the Peru Indians. They'll be meeting each other within a week here as we're taping this. And that would give the Cougars a two-game lead in the CBAC Division 1 standings. So that's the way it was in a game that featured the number five and number four ranked teams in New York State Class C competition here on Hometown Cable, January 27th, 1999 at Northeastern Clinton, just outside of beautiful downtown Champlain.